Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are gonna be doing something different. We usually don't do this on channel. We just go for player reviews. We just get a particular player and review that player. But in today's video, we're not gonna be doing a player review. But this is kind of a showdown review. Uh, we are not going to be doing uh, we are not going to be taking any particular player and going and putting them in a the squad and play a game but what i'm going to be doing is it's like a prediction video uh involved with like a review of each player who is he how is he why is he here uh, all of those things but yeah hope you guys will enjoy this video it's like a new idea for me in my channel i don't know if anybody else out there does this but yeah hope you guys enjoy let's get into today's video which is gonna be the uefa euros final prediction which is gonna be a showdown review as well now in today's video we have two players we have one player from england we have one player from spain spain versus england finals what do you guys think will be the outcome let me know in the comment section because i'm eager to know who you guys back actually now personally before i give my opinion let us actually look at the players for england we have kirin Trippier, and uh, for spain we have uh, aoz perez is that how you pronounce his first name no, i'm not sure but we have a left back with alternate position as right back and right wing back and then for spain we have a left mid for alternate position he has right mid cam and left wing now off the bat for both the players i am in love with their alternate positions because it is so good that you can use kieran Trippier at left back and at right back even i mean right wing back let us ignore i don't know how many of you guys use right wing back uh, but yeah left back and right back for in the same card is amazing and left mid and right mid in the same card is amazing as well and you can use him at cam and what was the other one right wing i guess no left wing so right right mid left mid and cam that whole midfield position you guys use left mid right mid will be more of a wider position compared to the left wing almost left wing but a bit more wider so i think these positions for both the cards are actually pretty insane now looking at repair first let us look at the card in depth now he has four star skill move and four star weak foot he has a medium attacking work rate and a high defensive work rate why high defensive work rate looking at his stats let's directly go to the stats 96 defending guys it is insane i think this is the first ever card of a fallback i'm looking and his actually defensive attributes are insane i don't know if there is any other card not very sure about it but insane stats for defending 98 slide tackle i mean 98 stand tackle 95 slide tackle 97 interception 96 defensive awareness and 92 heading accuracy insane stats and looking at pace 98 acceleration guys that is mental even though sprint speed is less we can increase sprint speed with the chemistry style no issue in that department but acceleration 98 is insane guys and he has 99 physical as well i mean 99 stamina as well in 89 physical and 95 jumping and under dribbling if you guys look he has 98 ball control and he has only 88 dribbling so dribbling stats is what is concerning now i don't know if anybody out there on youtube has done a review on him so if they have done a review on him make sure you guys go check that video out as well it's just a free promo for anybody who has done a player review on kiran repair uh but apart from that looking at passing he has really good passing 96 long pass 97 curve he has 99 crossing guys 99 crossing for a fallback is insane even for a left mid or a right mid or anybody playing in that wide position is insane having good crossing is very important having good dribbling is very important having good pace is very important for anybody who's playing at the width width positions like the wide positions right back left back right mid left mid right wing left wing all these fallback wing backs all these positions you need to have good dribbling good pace and you need to have good crossing and passing stats because you need to you'll keep getting balls from them into the box and which is going to be amazing and he has 96 shot per also if you guys are you know trying to get a ball into the goal from the weird positions and weird angles 97 curve and 96 shot part is going to be helpful now his finishing is a bit low only 70 is there so i don't know how good it is going to be but i think it's at least going to go on target and now looking at his play style plus he has dead ball plus it's gonna be i don't know dead ball plus is actually pretty insane you know i'm, I'm not i haven't seen anybody put dead ball plus but it's gonna be insane and he has mid pass plus he has long ball plus he also has long throw plus does it matter i don't really know but it is there so yeah i guess we have to be happy about it now looking at his player details i already showed you guys left back 
right back right wing back plays for newcastle premier league player and uh, that is it for the kirin ripia card now going to the spanish player i am actually more excited about this card than kirin ripia i think i think i think i'm going to give my prediction right now i think England are being memed on I'm not going to lie I I've, I've been seeing England being memed on a lot because they try somehow to bottle it whenever they are playing good but in the semi finals they played really well the England team which played the group stages three games and the uh, round of 16 and the quarter finals I don't think that England team deserved to be where they are right now but the team that played in the semi finals had the right mindset they played really well I enjoyed watching that match That is the first England game that I watched and I didn't feel like switching off my uh, TV so I am happy that England are actually in the right path now I hope England win I am going to predict that England is going to win and I am going to be completing Kieran Trippier I'm not going to be completing the Perez card it's just like a small prediction and at the same time I think Kieran Trippier is going to win guys not going to lie England have a good chance and if England mess up even a little bit if England's performance drops even a little bit Spain are going to plaster England up with some crazy goals. Spain are insane. They are insane, guys. Spain, I don't know how Spain is so good, but in the World Cup they don't perform like this. It is amazing and mind-boggling when you think about it, but I think Spain Spain can cause a lot of da- uh, damage to England, but I feel like England might win. Let me know your predictions of who you guys think will win and goal predictions and all that stuff. I think it's going to be a 1-0 win to England. I don't know why but it's going to be a 1-0 win to England either 2-1 or 3-2 or 1-0 or whatever it's going to be it's going to be 1-0 win, uh, win for England. And I'm I'm actually up for it. I'm actually up for it. So now looking at this card, right mid cam and left wing uh and he has insane stats he has 92 pace as well he has only 88 physical compared to Trippier's 89 physical which is not a lot of let down but he does have good jumping and good stamina not great stamina but good stamina i am happy about it 94 heading accuracy in defending 72 defending for a for a left midfielder is not bad actually i am actually surprised with it he has uh, 94 heading accuracy and he has good dribbling as well he has 98 dribbling and 96 ball control now this is what i want to this dri- these dribbling stats the ball control and the dribbling 98 and 96 is what i want to see in a player who's always at the wide positions these dribbling stats are really good uh, compared to trippier i think these dribbling stats are way better than trippier's and looking at passing as well he has 98 short pass 92 long pass and 94 curve uh and he has 94 crossing as well trippier stats beats his stats a little bit a little bit but i think still as a card overall perez looks good as of now as of now so i am not sure but because perez has 91 sprint speed as well guys and if you guys put him and you get full cam he's going to get at least plus 3 or plus 4 sprint speed and easily he'll get to 94 pace overall so that is where i'm thinking this perez card is looking better than trippier but uh, overall i would say both the cards are really good and looking at the play style we have sinner short plus ooh sinner short plus this is one this is one play style that i love the most and he has incisive pass plus technical plus and he has acrobatic plus good play style good play style plus uh, both the cards have four play style pluses which is actually pretty decent uh, considering the fact that both these squads i mean both these sbcs only cost an 86 rated team an 86 rated squad you need to have an 86 rated squad for this card the perez card you need to have a spanish player in i think and then for the other one you need to have the Eng- english player in and both are 86 rated squads and for both you need either an inform or a team of the season player i think i think that is pretty decent an 86 rated card for a potential 96 rated card or 95 rated card whatever the upgrade is going to be i think it's good i think it is worth it at this day and age for people who join new at least uh, i think the people who have been playing for a long while are not going to be happy with this maybe maybe not they'll have better cards but the people who have started like in the last month or two you guys can actually go for any of these whom you guys think is going to win or you can complete both you can complete both you guys can complete both it's not like you choose one and you can't do the other one you can complete both if you get lucky <coughs> 
with one also it's pretty decent now looking at this guy he has high and high uh, for attacking and defensive which is really good and he has five star weak foot Korean Trippier had only four star weak foot and he has five star weak foot and even attacking and defensive attributes play uh, like work rate are high which is also good in this card i'm telling you guys oh wow what a voice break i'm telling you guys as a card i think i would suggest you guys go for the perez card he has scam he has left wing and he has left mid and right mid as well uh whereas kiran Rapier is a defensive player right back left back i'm not gonna ignore the right wing back overall guys i think perez card is good but i am going for england so i am gonna come i am gonna complete this card and keep him in my club i'm not gonna put him in my squad i'm gonna keep him in my club and see how he is how how good he's gonna be because uh, hopefully england win and i get the 96 upgrade i can uh, remove my ashley cole i think ashley cole yeah who's there in my left back i have a 95 rated icon in my left back. i think it is cole yeah either cole i'm gonna remove him and keep kiran repair if kiran repair wins so yeah let us go let me just complete this squad and show you guys my team okay i have successfully completed this sbc like i said i don't think this is a bit i don't think this is costly guys i don't think this is like too much coins being put in you might have to spend a little bit for the team of the season or team of the week card depends on if you have a team of the week card then easy peasy but uh, apart from that i think team of the season if you guys need to put that is only gonna be a struggle but i think overall it's not gonna be that bad i i hope so it's not gonna be that bad so let me just bring him here this is how my actual squad looks this is the squad that i play rivals in and i still lose but that is how my squad looks i don't think getting any upgrades in any of these players are gonna do much difference because no matter what player i put no matter what i, I have a 98 puskis guys and i use him and i still get belted i don't know why i'm bad at this game but i still love this game so i'm just gonna keep playing and chilling with this and if you guys want to see me play i go live on twitch twitch.tv slash mr 19 i usually play i play valorant i play fifa i usually play fifa a lot and then sometimes when i get bored i go to valorant and i play i'm playing the chain together alone i mean solo mode so yeah now looking at kiran Trippier's card with only plus two chemistry style he does get us 87 to 89 boost in sprint speed like i said if i'm able to do a little bit of changes here and if i'm able to bring in somebody like let me um, let me bring in puskis look at that now he gets full chemistry right he gets plus four sprint speed guys which goes from 87 to 91 which is already good this is already good it goes from 90 to pairs to i don't know do the math i don't know it comes to a decent pace and then look at the card overall it looks really good now if this card gets an upgrade with full cam it's gonna look insane it's gonna look insane so this is why i did this card and if he gets an upgrade ashley cole is gonna sit here uh and yeah this is how my squad looks my substitute bench and my reserve bench and i pretty sure i have a pretty decent uh club as well so hope you guys enjoy this video i am going to be doing a similar one with the copa america uh, showdown as well which is going to be tomorrow's video hope you guys enjoyed this i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care stay safe stay motivated and keep smiling guys bye bye